Hello, I'm Pastor Mark of Overbrook Presbyterian Church, and I'd like to invite you to spend the next few moments with me reflecting on God's Word. Today, we continue in our Advent series about preparing and being ready for the coming of Christ. We were blessed to have our grandchildren with us this past weekend, and our oldest, Charlotte, is almost three years old. She'll be three in February. And she's kind of just getting to the point where she loves to sing songs. And her new favorite song is Jingle Bells. And even her little brother Hudson, who's just over one, when she starts singing, even though he's not fully talking yet, he can't help but sing along with her with the best he can. And I don't know, I've never really thought about Jingle Bells before. It's certainly not a song that I love. It's not a song that I dislike. It's just one of those songs that you hear around Christmas time. But like our grandson Hudson, when I hear Charlotte singing that song with that joy and I see her face light up, I can't help but join in and sing that song as well. Christmas time, Advent, is a time that we're to focus on the coming of Christ. There are a lot of people who celebrate Christmas, but don't celebrate Christ. They enjoy Christmas, but they would tell you they've heard all they need to about God, about Jesus, and that it's just not for them. They may believe that, but I can't believe it's true. I wonder sometimes if their feeling, if their reaction to the story of Christ might be in part based on the way we've presented it. A relationship with Christ can be presented as an obligation, as something dire and um, something that really makes people unhappy. There is a cost to following Christ, to being a disciple. And yet, as Paul said, the joys, the, the wonder of what we receive in a relationship with Christ is far beyond any pain and suffering that we might experience now. I just can't help but think if we could find a way to share the true joy of the story of Jesus in the way that our granddaughter sings Jingle Bells, that people maybe even who think they've heard it all before might hear it afresh and anew and perhaps might not be able to help joining in. May we pray that God would give us that sense of joy and spontaneity in this Advent season, that we might feel the joy, the true joy of the good news of the gospel and feel compelled to share that joy with those around us. I'm reminded of Isaiah 52 verse 7 that says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news who publish peace, who bring good news of happiness, who publish salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Thank you for spending this time with me today, reflecting on the Word of God for the people of God.